you are listening to the Rants and Rambles show with your host, Seth Goldstein. Sponsorship provided by A. Weber at aweber.com slash phillytech. Get Flywheel, optimized WordPress hosting at getflywheel.com. Wistia.com at wistia.com. And Zoho Mail. This week on Rants and Rambles, I'm going to talk to you about how expensive cars are to maintain. Even when they're not broken, they still cost a fortune. And maybe it's time for self-driving cars that you don't own, but you share. First off, let's shit thank our sponsors, aweber.com, email marketing, re-envisioned. You can go to aweber.com slash phillytech, and you can get them for $1, the first month for $1, and try them out. So check them out at aweber.com slash phillytech. Get Flywheel, their WordPress optimized um, web hosting company. Great company, we use them for our, our, our websites, and I, I can't say enough about great things about them. Wistia.com, W-I-S-T-I-A.com, business level video hosting and editing and, and production. Check them out at Wistia.com, tell them Seth sent you, and also Zoho Mail. Check them out at Zoho.com slash mail. Great email provider. All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit about how expensive my car is to maintain. Literally, my car is a 2012 Honda CRV. Great car, love it. I just spent $300 on it today. Went in for an oil change, left with new brakes. Basic thing, basic maintenance. It's just maintenance. It's just what needs to be done on the car to make sure it lasts longer. But $300, and that's a good price, at least I'm, uh, I'm aware of, for where I live, for getting your brakes repaired. Wonderful people that I go to, I trust them wholeheartedly, and I trust that they put the right parts in the right spots and there was no leftover pieces left over after they did the work. But this makes me think, what is the future of car ownership? What is the future of owning a car and or leasing a car and maintaining it? Or is the future more in self-driving cars or zip cars or Philly car share, like all these car sharing services? Now, in the inner city, you don't need a car necessarily. You can get a zip car to do some errands if you need a car, and that's great. But I live out in the suburbs. I live out in Doylestown. And it makes sense for me to have a car, to own a car. But in the future, would it make more sense for me to just dial up a number and have a self-driving car come pick me up and have me go use it for the day, and then have, when I'm done with it, it just goes away? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what is the solution to it. I mean, because to own your own car, it's a lot of maintenance. And this is $300 just for the brake pads and the oil change. I have other stuff to do in the car. I have a 300,000, 30,000 mile, 30,000 mile checkup and maintenance I have to do. That's another few hundred dollars. I have wiper blades to put on, basic maintenance. Everything is basic maintenance, but it costs a lot of money. Is, it, is the future going to be everyone owning their own, owning their own self-driving cars? That's another question. Will we all be owning our self-driving cars or will it be the car just drives to us on their own? We get in and we go off and do our things and then we say thank you, we press it, you know, pay for it and then it press a button and it goes off and parks in the parking lot somewhere. I want to hear what you have to think about it because I'm not sure what I think about it. I like having my own car. I like being able to go out and go places and not have to think about, oh, I have to go get a car at this point. I have to go dial a number and get a taxi or I have to go figure out how my transportation is to get to that point. I did that in college. I had a girlfriend that, lived, that was, went to school in the northern shore of Maryland and I never really realized how hard it was to get to the eastern shore of Maryland, the eastern shore of Maryland. Until I realized I didn't have a car and there's no real bus route to get down there. Uh, so I appreciate having a car and being able to do stuff when I need to do it. And if this is the maintenance that needs to be done, it's what needs to be done. It's just, what's the future called? Is it going to be a big pool, a whole army of these you know, drone cars going around picking people up and dropping them off? Like the Jetsons almost. But even then, I think George Jetson owned his own little spaceship thing. I don't know. Post your comments below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Email me, Seth at phillytech.org. Once again, if you want to support the show and the network, go to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com, slash phillytechorg. Give a dollar, give a few dollars, um, and we appreciate it up front, you know, big time, because we really need help maintaining this site, maintaining the good quality of shows we put on, and we have a bunch of new shows coming out in the new year, so stay tuned. I'll be announcing them shortly. Take care, guys. I'd love to hear what you think. Post the comments below.